This video is the ultimate guide for one shots. Whether you want to make them, use them, this video is for you. If you want to make a one shot, you're going to need a sound. There's three ways that you can do that. The first is recording an instrument into your DAW. Pretty self-explanatory. If you have a piano, synth, the guitar, just recording a C note and you're good to go. Something that works for me is to record the note in a higher octave and then bring it down inside your DAW. I find this way you can get much nicer textures. Second is a similar concept, but this time we're using VSTs to find your sound. We don't all have access to a piano, but most of us have access to a VST piano. Apply the same process as before, record a C note and then add your effects to make it sound how you want to. Quick one shot processing tip, you can turn any sound into a pad using the fruity granulizer. It's free and you can turn your sound from this into this. And the third way to get sounds is sound design. Before you start, it's best to have a good idea of what type of sound you want to make. It could be a pad, some keys, a lead. But for this video, I want to make a nice textured bell. My go-to synth for sound design is Pigments by Arturia, but you can use anything you feel comfortable with. A free synth VST is vital. You can sound design in there. It's kind of like Serum, although it may not have some of the features that Pigments has. First, I like to go to the default setting, so we're starting completely from scratch. For this sound, we have a sine wave selected. If you want a short attack, one millisecond is fine. A short decay, which is also fine there. What we're going to do is bring the sustain all the way down and bring the release up a bit. So now it's going to sound more like a bell. Before we get deeper into the sound design, I want to show you guys another quick tip for making quick one shots. So now we already have this very basic sound. If we go to engine two and turn it on, we can see it's a sampler. One thing I like to do is drag in pre-existing one shots and mess around with them and add them on top of what we have. So I'm just going to go to layers volume two. I'm going to grab another bell. Let's just go for this bell here. I want to take away the attack. So we've just got the textural part of the sound. Instantly, that gives it a bit more texture and makes it more of a usable sound. That's kind of cheating, so we're going to take that away for now by just turning it off. So now we're going to start adding some effects. One of the main reasons I use pigments is because of the effects it has built into it. I'm going to start with this delay. There's a preset in here that I really like. It's called Cheap Reverb. One of the reasons I like this and you can apply this to any delay is keeping the time really short. Don't sync it to the tempo. So you can hear that subtle texture being added straight away, which is really nice. What I want to do is bring the feedback down a little bit. So it's very, very subtle. So next I'm adding a reverb. I'm just gonna bring the dry weight up to about 35%. I wanna bring the size down and I wanna bring the stereo width all the way to mono. And let's bring the pre-delay quite far up as well. And to fill the third slot, let's add a chorus. And there's a really nice preset in here, the vibrato one. If we turn it almost all the way up, you'll hear what I mean. Gives it a nice wide, slightly detuned effect. Something like a Frank Duke's Q Beats Bell kind of sound. But for this video, we're going to get a little bit more creative and dive into the LFOs. You can assign these to pretty much anything inside pigments. So if we head to the second effect chain inside pigments, I want to pull up my favorite effect, the pitch shift delay. Now, if I play this without touching anything, it's going to sound a bit too much. And this is where the LFOs are going to come into play. So what I'm going to do is bring the dry wet all the way down and assign LFO 1 to it, dragging it. Let's drag it about halfway up, actually. And then we're going to mess around with the settings in LFO 1. I'm going to sync it. I'm going to slow it down a bit as well. Let me go 2 to 1, change the waveform and make it something like that. Already it's sounding a little bit more tasteful. To make it sound even better, what I'm going to do is bring the low pass all the way down. Let's go to LFO 2 and then drag that up again to around about halfway. And straight away, that sounded way, way better. And now it's really sounding like something you could get from a pedal like a blooper or a therme. And next, we need to just bounce this out and turn it into a one shot. So if you go to a mixer channel and then pull up Edison, select the record button and then just play in your note. Make sure to chop the excess parts off. We don't need this silence at the beginning. Now I like to right click on both of these fade in and fade out knobs. It just gets rid of any clicks and pops. And also I'm gonna add in some loop points, which I'm gonna explain in the second half of the video. So stay tuned for that. To add a loop, we're just gonna click this icon and then click set loop. To save your one shot, go to the save button and click save sample as 24 bit wave file. And we're just gonna save this as video bell. Next, I'm going to show you guys a few external effects that you can use to make crazy one shots. So here we've got the original dry bell sound that I made earlier. One of my go to sound design reverbs and delays is Outer Space by Audio Thing. Lots of things you can do inside this plugin. There's a preset that I love. It's in the ping pong section and it's called Texture Pan. So first, I'm going to make the decay short and bring the reverb volume down a bit. I'm going to bring the wow flutter up and I've also brought the echo down because you don't want it to be too present, like I mentioned earlier. Turn the noise up a little bit, bring some of that in. 
Another thing you can do is click the wet only button. This is great for making more ambient sounds, pads, but again, it works on this bell. You can also add the preamp, which is going to distort it and just give it a bit more crunch. I actually really like that harsher sound, so to accentuate that a little bit more, I'm going to add a compressor. Since we're going for a harsher one shot, I'm going to really turn up the input. And this heavy compression is really going to give us a tight, aggressive sound. If you guys want to get any of the Waves plugins, hit the link in the description, it helps me out. And finally, I've got an EQ loaded up just to tidy up some of the frequencies. I want to get rid of some of this low end. You can also use this to boost frequencies that you like, reduce them, really however you want to play it. That's my guide to making one shots. Now we're going to move on to the second half of the video where I'm going to make a sample only using one shots, show you guys a bunch of tips and tricks. And yeah, let's get into it. First, I'm going to go through all the settings to make sure you guys are using one shots correctly. There are a few things that you probably don't know that I'm going to show you now. So in this first screen, the main thing you want to look at is the mode there's all these different options but you're going to want to set it to stretch this means regardless of what octave you're playing the note in it's going to stay the same length so let's just drag in a midi from the laser volume 2 midi kit now if you guys remember earlier i said about leaving the loop points in when you're saving your one shots so we're going to select both of these here now you notice when i select ping pong loop it kind of does a loop and a reverse section here so if i just play it as it is already really cool but if we bring the length down this is where it sounds amazing we bring it like almost all the way down you can see it's bringing the notes together now if you listen to the chord progression next what i want to talk to you guys about is accents and textures and i've talked about it in videos before but i really want to emphasize it in this video in the layers volume 2 one shot kit i have a whole folder of accents and textures that are labeled with key and tempo so we're in f sharp minor for this one i'm going to find a nice little accent we can drop on top this blips one If you guys want to make your own accents and textures it's very very simple so what i'm going to do is copy this chord progression over to a new pattern and I just want to take the first chord, that's all I want. What I'm going to do is make it shorter. And what I'm going to do is use Valhalla Delay to make a really, really long delay. And then I'm going to add Edison on. This is just like we're making a one shot, but obviously it's not just one C note, it's an actual chord. I'm going to record it, I'm going to click play. So now we've got that saved, I can just drag it in. Let's pitch it up an octave just so you can hear it over the chord. I'd really recommend doing this in any sample or beat that you make. One element that you like, just save it, put it in a folder, and you can use it in future. Let's just get a quick perk loop on this just to kind of add a little bit of bounce. Underneath, I'm going to drag in this house pad sound. I'm going to copy the chords over, paste them in. Next, I'm going to add a lead sound. Now, something I really like to do is add a reverb, a delay, and then after that, a shaper box. I have this pretty heavy reverb, this pretty heavy delay, and then I go to the volume shaper, select this. I normally do quarter notes. Let's add a quick bass. Another one shot tip, pretty simple, is to reverse it. One more thing you can do with one shots that you can't really do in VSTs is glide the notes. Obviously it's gonna be different in every DAW, but if you double click the note in FL Studio and click this little triangle icon, it's gonna glide the notes. And finally, I've pitched it down by a few semitones using a sound shifter. One final trick for one shots is that you can actually set an LFO. It works best on longer sounds like a pad. I just turn the amount all the way up, the speed down, the attack up a little bit. If you guys have any questions about one shots, be sure to leave a comment. I'll answer them as soon as I can. This is what the final sample sounds like. <laughs> 